Hey, Trip Kramer here from TripAdvice.com, and on today's video, I want to go over seven amazing questions to ask on a date. That is right, seven great questions. Now, here's the thing. If you're watching this, just so you know, these are questions that you can ask even when you're not on a date, meaning when you first talk to a girl, when you first approach her, and you guys are in conversation, you could also use these. These are seven great questions that you can use all around, but I like the idea of being able to use these on a date because it makes it a little bit more interesting and it makes you guys connect faster. So however you want to use it, that's fine, but let's go over these right now so you know what they are and exactly how to use them. The first question is, why is your best friend your best friend? Why is this such a great question? That's what I'm going to answer right now. This is a great question because first of all, this puts them in a very positive mindset which means that they're thinking about all the awesome things of the friendship that they have with one of the closest people that they know. And also it gets them thinking, right? This is a question that gets someone thinking. It's not something that you just come up with on the spot. You really got to think about it. And so it's a really good question because most people aren't thinking about why someone that they're close to is someone that's important to them. And also what's really cool here is you really get to know someone. You understand what they value in friendship. And a girl who gets asked this question is going to love it because she's going to see that you care about some of the more deeper things. So ask this question. Ask her, why is your best friend your best friend? And by the way, I should add with all these questions, you better have an answer too because you better believe because these are such great questions, she will be asking them back to you. Here's the next one. What's one thing your mom or dad taught you that you use to this day? Okay, so this is really cool. I think this is just interesting in general. So having nothing to do with even just getting her interested in, in what's going on, I think it's an interesting question. I would want to know. I like hearing about life lessons. I like learning about what people are using every day to make their lives better. So it's really cool to just ask this because you're going to get a cool answer. Well, hopefully, and also you're going to get to know her better. Of course, this, this goes without saying. All these questions are going to get to know the girl better. But this is such a great question because they're going to be thinking again about more positive stuff, about some of the things that they use every day, and it's going to get them thinking on that positive level of what is it that they use every day that's helping them in their life. Now, this one goes in a little bit of a different direction. You know, it's, it's a little bit of a deeper question because it actually might get the girl a little bit upset. She might be thinking, yeah, I wish that my, my parents taught me this. I wish there was something that they showed me in this arena. But this is still a really great question. The reason is because it's going to bring out more of her vulnerability. And when you can get people on a vulnerable level, when you talk to them, when they're a little bit vulnerable, when you're a little bit vulnerable, it offers for a greater connection, right? This is getting past all that small talk. So, you know, they might say something here like, I wish they taught me to you know, work my finances better. I wish that they taught me a little bit more about money when I was growing up, right? So this is something that they're going to be saying to you. And, and so it shows an area maybe where they struggled a little bit or where it was tough in their life, something they had to overcome. So what's also cool is they might even say something that they were able to overcome that they ended up teaching themselves. Again, vulnerability lends itself to more connection here. Here's another one, and it's going to be dependent on whether or not a girl is wearing a unique or specific type of jewelry. Okay, so what you can say is you can point to that, you know, maybe it's earrings, maybe it's a bracelet, maybe it's a necklace, maybe it's just something that sticks out that's really interesting. And you point to it and you say, hey, what's the story behind that? Because what's cool is usually there's some sort of story, you know, why she picked it up, maybe she got it somewhere, maybe it was a gift. And then you can learn more about it. Again, it gets her talking a little bit more about some of the things in her life and gives her an opportunity to be able to tell a story and offers this opportunity in conversation to not be thinking about anything else that's going on around you too, right? It really sucks you in a conversation when you can get the girl to tell you a story also as well as you telling her a story, right? Stories offer being able to really just focusing in on that. Imagine if you're in a movie theater, if the movie is really good, you're not thinking about the fact that you're in a theater. You're just focused on the movie itself and you're sucked in. So get her to tell a story and get her to do it in a way that's about something that she's wearing. Here's a cool one, and you're going to get a lot of fun and interesting answers here. You ask her, what's been your highest high? Meaning, what is a point in her life where things were just amazing, or a point in her life where it was just so awesome that you couldn't even handle it, right? It was just so good. Like, what was a point in her life that was so good? And again, this is 
drawing back to what I was saying before, bringing her to a positive emotion, a positive state, getting her thinking about that time, which is going to bring back some of the same emotions that she had at that time. Okay, this is really cool, very psychological stuff here. So you're asking her, what is her highest high? And this is going to get some really cool answers then that you can play off of that. And this can be really great to get conversation flowing. So if you're having a hard time continuing conversation, how easy is it going to be when she says something that was really interesting or her highest high, a moment in her life that was so awesome? Well, then you can work off of what she's saying to tell your highest high or say something regarding what she's saying and bring it on a multiple different tangents to get conversation going instead of just being, you know, a very plain and boring small talk kind of question. This offers a lot more. On the other end, you can ask, what's been your lowest low? Now, you might be thinking, well, trip, whoa, wait a minute. This is going to bring a lot of a negative emotions, right? This is going to bring out some of that, that bad, you know, icky feeling because she's going to think about a time that wasn't good. Well, that is true. But again, this is going to offer a little bit of a time to be more vulnerable and for you guys to connect because she's going to say something that's going to be pretty deep. She might not even be able to answer this question because it's so deep. But here's the cool part about it. What you say to her and what you ask her is after she tells you that, you can say, you know, I'm actually more curious about, you know, what was the struggle that you went through and how did you overcome it? So you're asking her not just about what was the you know lowest low of your life, but how she overcame it. Because if she's sitting there across from you at the table, chances are she's not at her lowest low. Chances are she's way past that. So you ask her, how did she overcome it? And that's going to make her feel really, really good because she's going to say, you know what? In her mind, she's going to say, I got past that and I moved on from it. So that's really what you're asking here. So the follow-up question is going to be, how did you overcome it? How did you get past that really difficult time in your life? Here's another one, and this is fun. You know, this is something that you could say literally right when you start the date. You know, and it's almost kind of like a joke, like you're almost saying it, like you're talking to your kids at the dinner table, like, okay, kids, what did you learn today in school? But you don't want to sound like that, you know, just look in the eyes and say to her, what did you learn today? I'm just curious, what's something that you learned today? You know, I'm really interested in, in knowing what people are, are learning every day and what they're experiencing and some of the things that they're trying to accomplish. So you ask her, what did you learn today? What is something that happened today that she learned? Maybe it was a mistake that she overcame. Maybe it was something new that she learned from something on the internet. Doesn't matter what it is. Just ask her, what did she learn today? And this is going to be a really good question because it's going to show her that you really care about what's going on in her life. And again, this offers more connection because you're showing her that you actually give a damn about what's going on. And you might learn something new today. So that could be cool. So again, remember, all these questions, you need to have an answer as well. Now, I have a free video for you called Chick Crack. If you still have a tough time with conversation, what I want you to do is go below this video and click on a link that's going to bring you to a free video, 100% free. It's called Chick Crack, and it's going to offer the best conversation topics that women really love. So you're going to be able to learn what those topics are. You can bring them up in conversation on a date when you first meet, whenever it is, so you can get conversation flowing and get her interested in the conversation, which will then make her interested in you. And I call it Chick Crack. It's free. Go get it below this video. Write a comment down below this video with any other questions that you think would be cool to ask on a date. Go ahead, write a comment down below. Write a question so we can all do this together. We can all learn together. Go do that. Get Chick Crack. I hope these questions have helped and it makes sense to you. And I'll see you on the next video.